There are more than 450 springs in the Suwannee River Water Management District, and many of these provide recreational opportunities for visitors and residents alike. The district's monitoring efforts of these springs can tell us a lot about hydraulic trends and human impacts on both the quantity and quality of our groundwater and water supplies. Reducing those impacts to springs and protecting them for future generations is a core mission of the district. This is why the district continues to develop new strategies to prevent future impacts. One of these is the district's algae monitoring program launched in late 2021. This program includes several priority springs in the district and allows our scientists to monitor the occurrence of algae and submerged aquatic vegetation, or SAV, communities. The abundance and diversity of algae and SAV can serve as an important indicator of the health of a system, and these efforts allow us to better understand the ecological changes in local springs. Data obtained from these efforts could help the district establish spring-specific minimum flows and minimum water levels, MFLs. MFLs are a means to ensure water availability for the present and future, and to prevent significant harm to the area's natural resources. This effort will allow the district to evaluate relationships between algae, SAV, spring flows, and other environmental variables to help protect our local springs. What can you do to help? Reduce litter and other impacts to springs that help spur algae growth and avoid standing on or trampling plants when you come across it in the water. Our district springs, rivers, and lakes are both beautiful and critical to Florida's ecosystems and economy. We all enjoy these resources and we all have a role to protect them for future generations. To learn more, visit www.mysawaneeriver.com.